Morning, Facebook. Family. It's a sleepy Friday. Quiet Friday. Currently in St. Augustine. Just a short trip from where I live. About maybe uh, 45 minutes. And uh, we're here just for a couple days. We came to uh, see a concert last night. And um, as I get my coffee, I got a little coffee spill. That's why I don't wear a white t-shirt. <laughs> Um, but here we are, it's Friday, um, and, uh, I was getting my coffee going out and I was looking at these beautiful walls and I was thinking to myself, I was wondering how, and I don't know if you know, if anybody knows, this is called coquina and it's basically shells. You see that? So coquina, uh, a shells and they actually build things with coquina. You're thinking to yourself, well, shells are kind of brittle, right? Well, what's crazy is <clears throat> I'm currently in the oldest city uh, in the United States. And some of these walls and structures and where we're staying and then in buildings like that, the Leitner, Leitner Museum, I think it's called. And um, it made me think about weight loss. It did, of course, on the coach, right? It made me think about how hard it is for people to lose weight and why. And why maybe you're still struggling. And as I take a look, I want you guys today, if you notice all the shells, this is just one of the walls built. This probably built, I mean, a hundred, maybe a hundred or 200 years ago, a couple hundred years ago. Look at these shells. They're so old, but look what's in between them. You see that? It's concrete, more shells, concrete, shells, concrete, 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 concrete. You see those little kind of where the shells kind of put together. So how does that relate, Mark? What the heck are you trying to relate this with weight loss? So hear the story out. These walls have been built a long, long time ago, right? A lot of these buildings have been built. There's some buildings over here that have been built. You can see it's built a long, long time ago. And uh, this coquina, it has staying power, right? It's actually, it's held up over the years. And it's, it's kind of like the habits that a lot of people that I see build up in their own lives and why they're still struggling with their weight, still struggling with their health and they can't get out of it and you know why it's just like this coquina because you've built up habits over the years that didn't serve you well you built up habits like the little coquina see every time you make a choice right it starts if you make a choice to do something or not to do something to eat healthy or not to eat healthy to exercise or not to exercise that's one little habit one little choice one little habit like one little piece of shell the problem is over the years you start to build up like this coquina you start to build up these walls if you will and essentially it's like you're building your own wall for yourself to prevent yourself from living life the way you want it healthy and fit and I think one of the struggles for me as a coach and I know for other coaches is having to break down those walls those habits break down the coquina things that have been built up for years and years and years you can see how old this is right some of you guys have some really, really, <laughs> really, 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 really hard habits to break. And so how do you do that? How do you do that, Mark? Okay, so I built up these walls, you know, they're coquina, these shells, shells on top of shells on top of shells and habit on top of habit on top of habit. And here I am. How do I do it? Well, the only way to do it is to actually break down these walls. And the hardest part for people is that they do it themselves or at least try to do it themselves and they fail. Um, that's usually just the case. So let me go up and show you a newer, something that's a little bit newer. By the way, this is a beautiful place we're staying at. It's called the Collector. The Collector Inn is actually really, really, really pretty. Maybe I'll show you some of the grounds if you want to come walk with me. Um, this is just the back parking lot. But I want to show you something that looks maybe a little bit newer. Check this out. This wall looks a little bit newer. It's probably built to look like the other, but still, you see the coquina? A little more, more refined, right? Well, it's probably the same thing when it comes to your habits. We gotta refine some of your habits. So that's just all, that's all I wanna say. I actually have to share with you a little bit though. If it, it's kinda quiet and I don't wanna bother people, but I'm drinking coffee. You can come enjoy. This is a beautiful place, by the way. We've only been here one night so far. We're gonna be staying here another night. St. Augustine people, what do you got for me today? What's going on in St. Augustine? We got a fun day today. We're gonna to be overnight tonight. 
And uh, if you got anything that you think is exciting and fun to do, let us know. Let my wife and I know. We saw some reggae last night. It was awesome. Uh, but thinking about struggling with weight loss, the good news is shells are easy to break. You just have to learn how to do them. And check out this. I would much rather you be on a path. Check out these bricks. And this is how new habits are built. One brick at a time. Brick by brick by brick. One brick at a time. Check out this beautiful place. I don't want to interrupt people. Hey, look at that. This is like a little amphitheater. It's very beautiful. Pretty cool. I well, got a little cornhole. But how about that? Beautiful place, right? House there. These are all little places. We're staying in the back place over there where the lion, of course, they're putting us where the lion is. <laughs> well, let me sit here for a minute. So Coquina and the oldest. And you know what's kind of crazy is being that one of the, like being the oldest city in the country. Um, it's so peaceful here. So peaceful. And let me ask you this. Are you at peace with yourself? Are you at peace with where you're at in your health and in your life? And if you're not, what are you doing about it? You know, it's, it's easy to fall back onto those old habits, right? It's easy to, to stay off track or to stay fighting, fighting the fight, right? You're so used to it. You've built up the habit of actually battling yourself in your weight loss journey. And um, it's tiring, right? It's harder when you get older. It's harder. Like, you just want to give up. You just want to just say, why bother? Those walls are big enough, right? You've already built some walls. Why mess with them? I'm here to tell you uh, why things last. Again, the good news is for you that even if you have some habits and maybe some weight challenges and struggles and health issues and so forth, the good news is you can actually start to build some new habits. You can actually build some new walls, some healthy walls to make you bulletproof, to make you indestructible. Now, you don't need more information. I know because I'm not here to tell you that you need more information. I'm not here to say that there's some magic pill or potion, but it does take effort. It does take intentionality. You have to actually want to be healthy. You have to actually want to find or discover or seek out the best version of yourself. And it's really hard to do, especially when you have coquina walls that have been built up. And maybe they're not on your own doing. Maybe you grew up in an environment where you were never told to eat healthy, you were never told to move, you're never told to be active. Again, there's no blame game because what's done is done, it's in the past. The good news is all of these walls, like these brick walls, you can break them. Sometimes they take a little more effort than others, especially if the walls are built up for a long time, but you can break them down, you can rebuild. Like a lot of these homes, these older homes here, you see beautiful homes, I'll share with you, beautiful homes. They were renovated, you see, these are remodeled grounds keep you got to keep it up very beautiful right they kept it up and my question is to you what are you doing to keep up with yourself what are you doing to find the best version of yourself now, if you need help with it um, well you can reach out to me today I might be catching messages back and forth but I'm gonna enjoy my time with my wife here uh, in the oldest city and uh, maybe you're feeling like your body is the oldest body and uh, that may be time that you have to start rebuilding some walls. Maybe start breaking some down and start rebuilding some new ones. And if you need some help, reach out to me. I think I might be able to help you. Take care. God bless. Hope you have an amazing weekend.